and this was quite interesting so again anyone knows anything about plumbing or building works like unless this is geopolymer how is that metal pipe inside and underneath the limestone Easy Tigers, I hope everyone's fine and dandy. Welcome back as always. Today we're gonna to be examining, right up close and personal, this particular part in question. And I'll show you where it is on the map so you get an idea of where we're at. So we're in Valletta, we're near the main gate. So where the actual head of the arrow is, is exactly where I'm standing. And where the end of the arrow is, is down at the bottom. And also, I managed to have a little look inside where the arrow is pointing here and if you don't know where that is it's this part here so where the arrow is now is where I took the photo and I've managed to see what is inside this structure but that's for another time now I'm proving around I'm going around proving that Valletta and Malta well original Malta is made out of geopolymer I believe whether it was uh, I don't know, that's another whole topic. Let's just get our boots on the ground and have a look what's going on in. Because like I say, these are macro structures made out of geopolymer and buried. Now, this is Valletta. We're walking on the top of Valletta now. And when I say it's been built on top of this structure, look at this, look at that. It's phenomenal, isn't it? Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. And you can see all the, all the apartments on the left-hand side. Ah, oh, wait till you get down there. There's some nugs down here, I tell you some proper nugs but we'll walk around and have a look so yeah i managed to get inside that structure part the massive macro part that's on the left hand side of this and um i'm in two minds whether to put the video up because it looks like no one's been in there in a very very long time i found old world batteries in there uh, old telephones like <laughs> really old stuff uh there's also like train tracks in there uh sorry cart tracks shall we say it was a very peculiar it was it was like it had been left in time like they just left it and just forgot about it so i don't know let me know if you want me to do that video i just don't want to get in trouble that's all but as we have a little look down you can clearly see the gop you can see all sorts of service marks running around this structure and again, like the base of these structures are the frequency patterns that we see. So when the people have built on top of it with the block work, they've copied what's underneath them, which is the frequency patterns. Look. Like, imagine going into that effort. Imagine cutting these blocks to fit snug. Ideally, in, in an ideal world, you just chop it down flush, wouldn't you, and just put blocks on top. one in here you can see all the GOP on the right hand side behind here you can see a tunnel um, look at this look what's this what's all this cousins Yeah, but that arch there, I've been in there and I've made a video in there. It takes you into uh, inside another part of the complex. But now I've been into multiple parts of these structures. I'm starting to build up a bigger image of what is occurring inside. So here's a good shot because you can see that the Valletta is built on top of it from here. And you can see we're, we're talking five stories, five floors worth of geopolymer. And here is a good because as you're going downstairs you can see where they've chopped it down and like I will say like a broken record and look how high it is. Phenomenal. 
Look at that, man. It's, it's just, it's, it's amazing. When we get down here, you'll see what's occurring. You will see what's occurring. Now, Again, like I say, I can't say too much till I've uploaded the video. This is a messed up thing. This is a messed up thing. So I'm just going to keep my mouth stum for now. And you will see what I want. That's no more than a wall. People look at that and think it's a solid rock, but that's just a wall. Behind the wall is rooms, corridors, services, all sorts of stuff. Again, this one's been blocked up. Again, like I've seen some dates on these walls. So apparently Valletta was built in the 1500s, right? Yet, on that wall in the background, I've seen dates predating that. So I've seen 1490 and 1377 on the wall. You can see the sink went above that. Uh, I guess it's some sort of wooden framing. Look at that. Chase Mark with a box. It's the same old script. It can only be for services. Like, I imagine lights. But this must have been a platform. You can see that, that, that you've got like imprints where the wood would have had to have gone. And again. This is just phenomenal. You can see that, that mark has been filled in. Now this is quite recent, this part here. This wasn't like this last time I come here, by the way. So they filled it in with a modern looking, it looks like plaster. But it's probably concrete with laced with limestone dust to make it blend in with the walls. I mean, when I was doing some electrical work when I first moved to Malta, we was fitting some lights and we fill it with concrete. So that there's them spotlights and they're poking out the wall. So we threw a bit of concrete in the hole, pushed the light into it, and then the, the excess concrete looked 1490, 1490. And again, just above it, 1377. I've only just noticed that, but there's also 1377 around the corner. So this chase mark, or channel mark, was for water, and you'll see where this comes from. Again, I'm walking uphill. There's a slight incline on this hill, so it looks like it's even. But look, well, 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 what do we have here, eh? What do we have here? This is what we see at the cart rut the other day. Well, it ain't even a cart rut. Um, when I was in Cellini, they were saying that they were cart ruts, but we, we noticed that the floor had a lip in it where a plate would go. So services come from here, and when, when I zoom out in a minute, when I step back, you'll get the bigger picture. So there's no point in explaining yet, but the top of this is a pool. So a pool of water sits where them flowers were at the top of this chase mark. And obviously it's just been filled in. And this was quite interesting. So again, anyone knows anything about plumbing or building works like Unless this is geopolymer, how is that metal pipe inside and underneath the limestone? And it's almost like it's got, look at that. Again, I don't know what's going on. It's like some sort of imprints of like, I can only imagine like 
some sort of metal rods that went there maybe, I don't know, I don't know. But when I turn around you will see, lovely, it's lovely. So, you can see in the right hand corner, coming from the top to the bottom, there's one of these chase marks and again on that side as well. So the water comes down, sits inside that pool because I've climbed up there before and there's a pool of water. Normally there's a pool of water and you can see that because all the, all the flour has grown in there because obviously it's been raining and blah blah blah. So the water overflows and then comes down these chase marks. This one seems to come to surface mounted because it comes through at an angle. But the other one seems to stay behind plates and get distributed round this cylinder shape. Which is quite interesting. Interesting stuff. Look at this. Look at that. Hey. Eh? GOP to the max. And that was in quite solid. I did try and stress it, you know, like I pulled it and I'm just showing you guys like what a guan. What a guan. What an interesting spot, right? Again, you can see here, look, one, two, three, four, five levels. There's five levels underneath the city of Valletta. Now, as the camera pans round, you can see this cylinder sort of shape that we're looking at, right? Let's look at that. So what does that say? 1467 with a bat with a five pointed star yeah so going back to um so we fit these lights and when you push the light in the hole it pushed out the, the concrete or the cement shall we say so what we had to do was pick up the limestone dust and chuck it keep chucking it at the co concrete till it looked like this here in the center and that's what's happened here so you've got 1377 To make it look like it was done more recent but i have a picture somewhere somewhere of that looking old school and old world but don't worry about that for now we move on strange little holes coming from inside this structure and again let me just stress we are not at sea level by the way we're still about about i'd say about 80 to 100 feet above sea level at this point Again, you can see the wooden framing would have gone there. It wouldn't surprise me if there are steps to get into that entrance up there. So these are complexes and it is undeniable now. It's undeniable. The base of these structures are done in the GOP and we have, not we, but our most recent um, people that have gone around building our world, they've used the blueprint that's already there and they've just built upwards. And again, when you go to Valletta, you do not see this stuff. You don't see this. You will walk around, you'll go and get an ice cream, you'll go and look at some statues and all that, you won't see all this. This is buried. And again, you can see services running down the wall that have been filled in. One, two, three, four, five entrances there as well. Plus, you've got this bit going into this part here, which is the Lascaris Raw Rooms, which is actually, again, like I say, a tourist attraction. So you've got a box here, and then you can see that a cable or something ran into that box. Now, I personally don't believe these cables are that old. I believe they were, I don't know, but you can date them because they got rubber on them. That's what I do know. But it's just very, very strange. Like this, look, look, I'll show you which ones have got rubber on. So these ones haven't. These ones have a material wrapped around them, which is very strange. But I've never seen this material before. It's almost like a cloth. But there is some pipes with um, rubber on it, and you can see the distinction. 
I'll show you. I like that one there coming down. Did you see that? That was up on the clip. That had rubber on it. But you've got the plate. Like I say, the plate. The pipe is running behind the plate in the chase mark. Now this 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 was very weird because it seems to me to be lead, but it can't be lead. It's just how it moves, it's just like lead, like you can bend it and it will stay in that position. It's very weird. Now, I've seen this a few times now, but obviously we know, we know that um, lead is conductive, like you can't use it as an insulator. You can't use it to wrap it around pipe. But look, you can see the chase mark going up to that box. So what would go there? What would go there? Look at the little lizard running around the wall. It's just funky stuff, no? Very, very funky stuff. Anyway, let me continue. This was actually a really good day for me. Really, really good day because I've been looking at this area for so long, for years now, years. I can say I've been looking at this area for years and I wanted to know what is guanin inside this massive block or this string vest of geopolymer. Look, your door frame goes in there, boom, boom, boom. That's been, how long ago was that filled in, you know? And look, you've got the service running here. I know it's not new, it's, it's, it's old well, but look, painted in good condition and this is what it would have looked like back in the day when it was in its prime you can see the cable or sorry the cable the pipe running in that must be like a mains or this conduit for cables but there's no difference to what it would look like now to what it looked like back then in very good condition right look at that you just got a conduit with the, ca the cables in there services filled in at the wall so you can see like it comes like a T so, so here we go so we're, we're, we're about halfway in between the, the ground level the true ground level and the top of the letter but look at the T you can see where the service comes down the wall boom 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 and it comes down here boom 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 now can't say too much. But what I will say is, I have been where no man has gone before. No, I don't know, I'm joking, I ain't really. Obviously loads of people have been there, that's from a film, but I can't remember what film it is. But, let's just say, let's just say I had a look in here. And look at all the, God, what a, what a piece of art this is. Phenomenal. And you get a, get an idea of how big it is because you just see the little people down there, they look like dots. So it is mad, it really is madness. Now, let's get back to this section here. Because again, you can see services running up or down the wall, one or the other. And it's this weird, I've never seen this, I've ne I touched it, it was horrible. It was almost like oil and grease over this, I don't know what this was. But this, this goes all the way up to the top of the building, and then it goes down into the, uh, the current ground level. And the same with that, and it's actually behind these slabs, or these plates, or whatever you want to call them. Funky stuff, right? And I'd love to have a look in here and all. I'd love to look in here. Right, so that's that section there. I mean, let me know if you want to see a video that was inside this part here. We're just going to walk through here. It's a little shortcut, basically. So it's a little shortcut, and it basically shows you, it takes you from this section 
to another part of the, the pattern, the Starfall pattern or the Cymatic pattern, and the, the, the Valletta bus station. So you can tell this, this is, when it's all rough like that, you know it's just been bored out by the military. But the reason I'm taking this route because I want to show you something extraordinary. You're going to love it. I think I've showed you guys before, but it's, it's actually part of all this structure. So like I say, the base of all this stuff is done in the GOP. Now look, you can actually see. This is a beautiful spot, I'll tell you. And this is another weird bit because you've got um, massive steps here, like they're for giants. So we just come through there. So up there, it looks like it was done for giants. I'll show you how big the steps are. Look, so basically, they're about two foot wide deep and probably about eight foot wide. And they go up there into another part of the bastion that's all being blocked off. But then you come over to this side and it's got smaller steps and then obviously they've been smashed up going up and they've just turned they've, they've then done it with blocks going up but then you've got this little chase mark going down the middle so i guess that might have been for water to run away or something like that then you've got a chase mark on the wall so a service would have gone in there as well but this is not the nug that i wanted to show you so don't worry do not worry down there so you can see that this is a new new ground level because half of the stuff's been chopped chopped off so yeah where these two guys are in the background you'll see in a minute yeah where these two guys are uh, if you actually stand on that wall I don't advise anyone to do that because it's dangerous but if you if you if you look and lean over you will see that the back of the houses are made of a geopolymer and in the background you can see what you call is the free cities let's have a look down boom look at that GOP these houses are made out of GOP crazy stuff So they must have all been part of the same network. It's all part of this geopolymer macro structure. You only get these little nugs. Look at this, look where I am, look. And you can see where they've chopped it down, going along the back of that bastion, or the star pattern, or whatever you wish to call it, whatever you wish to call it. Anyway, but I hope you've seen something, and I hope I'm painting a, a picture for you guys. I hope you need to call me Picasso Cook. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and support if you can. One love, guys. Ouch. Ta-da. Ta-da.